So today I'm going to be doing a little experiment with toilet rolls or toilet roll middles more specifically. So um, I've seen on YouTube and various places um, quite a few people that have made little plant pots by fold cutting toilet rolls in half and then folding the ends over so it makes a little cup holder, little pot thing for plants to go in. Now I did do this a couple of years ago but the problem I had was that the plants that I put in there the little roots couldn't break through the, the cardboard it was too stiff for them so I've decided to do an experiment and um, try a couple of other options. So I've got a few little pots that have been completely closed over. I am going to do some where there is nothing to hold the soil in at all and I'm wondering whether that's just going to give me problems down the line because when I try and pick them up to plant them it'll all fall out but there's only one way to find out and then I have done a halfway house where I folded over a little bit of the edges um, but I have still left a hole in the middle and it's not quite so tightly packed so I have got four of each of these little tubes uh, with them all closed off halfway and then nothing at all I just need to put some soil in here in these ones I've missed just to fill them up so let's just quickly do that that's one. Two. Oh, here we go. This is going to be the tricky one. And nearly three. Top it up a little bit. Okay, so I've now got little tubes ready for planting. And what I'm going to plant today, I have got two little packets. Uh, now, these are seeds from little would you believe and they were 29p per packet so not the most expensive things in the world but hopefully uh, they'll grow nicely and see where they are but they should be planted in march which is now so let's see what they are like never grown pumpkins before so that's quite exciting okay so they are quite large seeds uh, sort of the size of a fingernail fairly flat and I'm going to do half of my containers with these and half with the courgettes. So uh, it just says to pop them in. So one, two, three, four, six. Oh, does that just leave me with? Oh, <laughs> so I have just got one left in the packet. So that's unfortunate. And then the courgettes. Let's have a look at those. Rip the top off. Now these are little round courgettes, which I've not tested, but oh, they look, so they're very similar seeds, but they are smaller. So about, well, yeah, quite a bit smaller than the pumpkin ones. Let me take a pumpkin one back out. So those are the differences, big ones and small ones. So we'll put the pumpkin back in there and I'm going to put courgettes in these. So I have no idea if there's a right, if there's an up or a down, they're just going in. And we shall see in a few weeks what happens. Now, it says on the packet that they should germinate in six to ten days. So I will come back in a couple of weeks and we'll have another look and see what's happening. All that I need to do now is give them a good old water and put them somewhere nice and warm to hopefully germinate. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> 